I'm not really a review channel. <clears throat> I haven't used my YouTube channel for anything but watching videos and posting shit-talking comments. But um, I just wanted to do a little review on Pine Ridge Knife Company because I haven't seen any reviews on any blog sites or nobody really talks about them. They're not really a well-known company. Um, you know, they officially started in 2011. Um, I found them just because I was looking for an old West style boot knife. And, uh, you know, I found the Pine Ridge boot knife. Um, little info about the knife. It's a uh, three inch blade. The handle length is three and one fourth inches, overall length of seven and a half inches. Or three and a fourth inches, I'm sorry. Um, here's the knife. It is 1095 high carbon steel. Um, little double edged spear point. Um, I think it's perfect for me. I live in the city and I don't carry it on a boot, I carry it on my pocket actually. Um, you can see how the knife or the sheath is. It's uh, it's pretty nice. It wasn't black when I got it, it was a brown but I scuffed it up and dyed it black just so it would match my jeans that I wear. Because I dress like, uh, you know, a punk rocker that fell right out of the 80s. But it's uh, it's an awesome knife. Um, I've been carrying it every day for a few months now, and <sighs> it holds a really nice edge. It's very easy to sharpen. Um, I sharpened it one time because I dropped it before I put a lanyard hole in it. It doesn't come with the lanyard hole. Um, I put that there just so I can have something to, you know, grab it. Because the way the sheath is, and the way it sits in the sheath, it, um, when you pull it out and draw it, you kind of have to grab it and then switch your grip. And I didn't really like that too much. So, now when I grab it, I at least have something to wrap my hand around. And... Like I said, it's a great knife. Um, it's 1095 high carbon steel. The hand, the handle is made out of actual elk antler cut out of the sheds found in Utah and surrounding areas. The blade texture is fire etched and they do it in a coal forge. Um, it looks like shit like that because I tried to put some gun bluing on it. And it worked. It darkened it up a little bit, but that was my little touch. Um, the blades are hardened to a 56 Rockwell. Not really sure how good or bad that is. But as I said, for a $150 knife, it's, uh, it's held up pretty good for me. I don't really use it for cutting too much. I kind of just keep it for self-defense. Um, as I said, I did drop it, um, the day I got it home, but you can't even tell. I fixed the tip pretty good. The steel's pretty easy to sharpen and keep an edge on. The handles, as I said, they're elk antler cut out of the sheds found in Utah. The sheaths are made out of Herman Oak leather. Um, it's pretty good, high quality leather. It's, uh... It's pretty sturdy stuff. Um, I would rather if it was just the clip. But it's nice. It's meant to be in a boot, as you can see in this picture. The knives are meant for horsemen and horsewomen. Um, as you can see, a few of their other knives. Um, company's pretty easy to work with. They, um, you know, they they don't ship in any kind of special box or anything. It just came in a, you know, a standard mailing envelope, but like I said, for the price, I could probably do a little better, but I really enjoy it, and I look forward to getting my next one. My next one's actually going to be the Timberline right there. I really like the way it's shaped and everything. Um, I do have another one. Maybe I'll do another review on it just to put them out there a little bit. I think they deserve a little more credit. Um, that's really it. 
the handles originally did come, um, you know, really bright white bone, but I scuffed it up a little bit with some sandpaper because I wanted it to oxidize a little bit, make it look old, and I think I did a pretty good job on it. It's just a really, really nice knife, and I'm really glad I bought it. Um, here's what the other one looks like. Just a little preview of it. But as you can see with the handle, how bright and white it was when I originally got it. And you can tell that they're all handmade and hand-shaped because you could see the unevenness of the handle. But, as I said, for being handmade, it's a really great knife. This one holds a really, really nice edge. It's going to be like a good skinning knife or a fishing knife. For a small little blade, it definitely holds up to what I put it through. But maybe I'll do another review on that one. I don't expect these videos to be good at all. Like I said, I just wanted to put the company out there. And I definitely can't wait to get my hands on the Timberline or any of their other knives. Eventually, I plan on collecting all of them. But thank you.